What's going on guys? Krusty K is here from the Gold Boys Network coming to the LMB Slate Preview for August 13th. <laughs> uh, before you hop in, I wanted to remind everybody you can get all these odds at FanDuel Sportsbook. Let's not waste any more time. We have a huge slate. So first one, the Nationals take on the Orioles. Jake Irvin versus Trevor Rogers. I mean, Orioles at home, so I, I like to back their offense. I don't know if I can get behind a minus 175 price for Trevor Rogers. So for me here, it's going to be the over. I think Irvin get, you know, I think he struggles here against Baltimore. It's just a powerhouse team at home. They're crushing righties. We all know that. Uh, WRC plus around 140 over the last two weeks. I mean, just just raking. And at home, they're they're that much better. Um, Trevor Rogers, a guy still trying to figure it out, in my opinion. This Baltimore team's you know looking to work with him, looking to try and correct whatever was wrong with him when he was in Miami. And uh, you know, I think there's going to be continue to be some growing pains here. This Nationals team, not necessarily a team that, you know, is loaded with talent, but they got guys who put the ball in play, and when you're putting the ball in play, good things are going to happen. I definitely think they can get us enough runs to cover the rest of this total if Baltimore doesn't do it on their own. So give me the over here. Our next one, the Chicago Cubs taking on the Cleveland Guardians. Javier Assad versus Matthew Boyd. Um, this is a weird one for me because, I mean, I like I liked the Guardians against Assad. I really do. I like their lineup. Uh, I think they have a, a team who can really get to him. But I have a hard time trusting Matthew Boyd, I mean, for obvious reasons. So for me here, it's going to be the Guardians team total. I do think they win the game, but I like the team total better just because I don't have to rely on Boyd. Granted, I don't think he pitches super deep into this game. I'd say maybe four or five innings. They turn over to the bullpen. So Cubs, I mean, especially on the road, they haven't been great. So I'm not like too concerned about their offense, but just feel like the safer play here is going with the Guardians team total over. The next one here, the Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Valente Beloso taking on Taiwan Walker. So Taiwan Walker is back, coming off an injury. Uh, I like the Phillies. Again, uh, this is one of those ones I'm going to preface it. It's really tough to trust Taiwan Walker, in my opinion. But I also don't expect him to be full go here. Uh, I would expect around 75 pitches. Probably hoping for five innings if they can get it. But I do like the Phillies here on the money line. I think they get to Beloso. I think Taiwan Walker pitches well enough to at least get it to the bullpen. And then this Phillies team should hopefully be able to take this thing home. They are at home here, so I do like the bats to kind of, you know, get going and, you know, get a little run going here as, as they return to Citizens Bank. Our next one, the Seattle Mariners taking on the Detroit Tigers. George Kirby versus Tariq Skubal. Uh, it is Skubal Day, one of my favorite days of the week. And for me, I'm going to be on the Tigers in the first five, backing Skubal to deal here. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if, you know, this thing ends up being, you know, one nothing. I think Kirby does pitch relatively well. But if you look at Kirby, his struggles have come on the road this season. So I think in a, even in a pitcher's duel, I think, you know, Skubal gets the best of him here. I think Skubal K's are obviously in play. The Seattle team strikes out with the best of them. Uh, when they go on the road, it's considerably worse. So Skubal K's 100% in play. Detroit Tigers in the first five. Let's get another cash here. Wait, before we get back to the picks, I wanted to thank you all for watching. Woo! Friends don't let friends watch videos without hitting the like button. So go ahead and press the thumbs up button and like the video. If you're new here and not subscribed, you should go ahead and do so because we're dropping new content each and every day on the Gold Boys Network. We strive to cover every sport and give out picks and analysis and valuable information for free on the Gold Boys Network. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so you can get notified when we drop something new. I'm Brad Thomas. Let's get back to the picks. Our next one, the Cardinals taking on the Reds. Eric Fetty versus Hunter Green. It's going to be the Cardinals here for me. I love Hunter Green, don't get me wrong. Uh, but this is a team, this Reds team, is a team that's incredibly tough to trust, in my opinion. Not that the Cardinals aren't tough to trust, let's be real here. Uh, but I think Fetty has the stuff to bother this Reds team. This Reds team, as of late, striking out how they were early in the season. A lot of undisciplined at bats. And against Fetty, who's a guy with a pretty high chase rate, I really just think this is a tough spot for them. Hunter Green even pitches relatively well. I still think he's good to give up at least a bomb or two. And ultimately, I think that'll be the difference here. I do think this thing's relatively low scoring, but I do like the Cardinals to get the win here at plus money on the road. Um, our next one here, the Houston Astros taking on Tampa Bay Rays. Yasoi Kikuchi versus Shane Baz. I mean, Kikuchi obviously super familiar with this Rays team. Uh, pitched against them in the AL East before he got traded. Shane Baz is a guy who... Uh, I don't want to say he hasn't figured it out, but just the stuff hasn't looked great since being called back up. 
Um, I like the Astros here. I like them on the money line. Nice 135 on the road. I think it's a great price. I think Kikuchi pitches well against this Tampa Bay team because although they're familiar with him, this isn't the Tampa Bay team we're used to seeing. I've, I have talked about it at nauseum. You know, um, they've <laughs> traded away a lot of their power and this lineup looks a lot different. So I like Kikuchi to pitch well here against a really watered down Tampa Bay team. And I think Baz, you know, I don't necessarily think he, think he loses his ass, but he's going to have some runs in my opinion in this Astros lineup. Our next one, the Oakland A's taking on the New York Mets. Ross Stripling versus Paul Blackburn. I am on the Mets. Uh, uh, Paul Blackburn's a guy who I love backing when he was on the A's, now pitching against the A's. Uh, I like this spot. I think he, he's going to have a great chance to pitch really well here. Oakland on the road has been a lot more inconsistent than they are at home. and just feels like a really good spot for him to pitch well. Ross Stripling, we all know. I mean, come on. It's Ross Stripling, certified turkey tosser at this point in his career. Uh, the Mets offense, the only thing they do well is hit at home. So this is the spot. <laughs> Give me the Mets on my line. Our next one, the Texas Rangers take on the Boston Red Sox. This is Jose Urania versus Cutter Crawford. Um, for me here, I do like Boston. Cutter Crawford though, man. Whew. Uh, Give him a lot of bombs. So for me, it's going to be the over actually. That's I ended up where I settled. I wanted to back Boston because like I said, I do like Cutter Crawford. But Pena, Cutter Crawford, these are two guys who can give it up. I think we see a ton of runs here. This total's at nine and a half. Sky high at Fenway for good reason, in my opinion. We're going to see a whole bunch of runs. Give me the over nine and a half here. Our next one, the Kansas City Royals taking on the Minnesota Twins. Seth Lugo, and right now the Twins have not announced a starter. Uh, I'll be curious to see who they put out there. And depending on who it is, I'm going to be on the under. So this one will kind of just leave alone for now. But I do like the under pending starter for Minnesota. Our next one, the Dodgers taking on Milwaukee Brewers. Gavin Stone versus Colin Rhea. Uh, so Rhea's had his starts pushed back, uh, I believe, twice now. But um, I really just like Gavin Stone here, man. This this guy continues to impress me. He's looked really good. Really good. You know, a lot of people are expecting regression from him. It hasn't happened yet. And at this point, he just has to, you know, agree to disagree that he could be one of those guys who kind of defies the metrics. So give me the Dodgers on the money line here at a minus 120. Uh, they're in Milwaukee. Obviously, uh, Milwaukee's been really good at home. But I think Gavin Stone kind of, you know, he finds a way to navigate here. Uh, on the flip side, obviously, Dodgers getting Mookie Betts back is huge. Uh, this lineup's starting to come into form here, and I think they take advantage of Colin Rhea. Hey, guys, I just want to give a quick reminder that new users can bet $5 at FanDuel on any of the bets in this video and win $150 in bonus bets if the bet wins. Now let's get back to the bets. Next one, the New York Yankees taking on the Chicago White Sox. Nestor Cortez versus Jonathan Cannon. I mean, Yankees at a minus 300 again. I got, I have no interest in going there, especially with Nestor on the road. Uh, Jonathan Cannon has probably been the best starter for this White Sox team in the second half of the season, if you've been paying attention. Not that you would, because why the hell would you want to? But uh, for me here, oddly enough, it's going to be the White Sox in the first five. We can get them plus one and a half at playable odds because they're awful. So White Sox plus one and a half in the first five. I just like Jonathan Cannon to pitch well. This is a terrifying bet to make, but Nestor Cortez on the road has been absolutely awful. The White Sox already got to Gill in the first inning of the game today. I think they can get to Nestor early. I think Cannon pitches relatively well, well enough to keep us within one and a half in the first five, and we get a cash here on an absolutely gross wager. Our next one here, the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Angels. Kevin Gosman versus Carson Fulmer. I mean, it, it, it's going to be the Jays here, reluctantly. Uh, I just think that this Angels lineup just doesn't have anything for Gosman. Gosman hasn't looked good this season. I'm not going to sit here and try and pretend like he has. Um, but I really do think that this is a spot where he can just kind of take advantage of a, a lineup that's not very good. Um, Carson Fulmer, he's a like reliever, turn starter, reliever, starter again. Um, he's not good. And I really think he struggles against this Toronto lineup. So for me, it's a spot where Gosman, you know, maybe he goes out and tries to, you know, it seemed like he's kind of pitching a contact a bit his last start, but it worked. It worked really well. He pitched really well. So maybe he takes the same approach here or a similar approach and has some more success. Uh, regardless, this lineup just is extremely weak in my opinion. So give me the Jays here on the money line. Our next one, the Colorado Rockies taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Austin Gomber versus Eduardo Rodriguez. Uh, it, it, it's the over for me. Um, so totals at eight and a half. I mean, the Rockies, obviously not a team that anybody loves to back their bats, but Diamondbacks are crushing lefties. So I think Gomber's in for a really rough outing. Erod did not look, uh, I mean, he didn't look bad, 
but the strikeout stuff wasn't there. And I think the Rockies can maybe get a run or two off of him, in my opinion. So really it really just comes down to the Dimebacks covering the rest, which, I mean, I think they do. I like their team total here as well. But this is just a great spot, in my opinion, for runs. I think we see a lot of them. Um, the Rockies do have some guys who crush lefties, uh, and I think those guys come to play in this one. Our next one, the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on San Diego Padres. Luis Ortiz versus Michael King. So for me here, I mean, these close proximity starts, I always hate them because it, it kind of scares me off. But I do like the Padres to win. I just think Michael King is really good. And I think this Padres team is kind of finding their stride right now. I think they've won like eight of the last ten. Uh, just a great spot to attack a Pirates team who's really struggled on the road all season. Just, like I said, great spot for them. I think they take advantage. I think Michael King, even in a close proximity start, pitches well enough to win this game. Um, I think the Padres can get to Ortiz. Our last one on this slate, the Atlanta Braves taking on the Giants. This is Charlie Morton versus Kyle Harrison. Um, reluctantly, I like the Braves. I have a hard time backing Charlie Morton. Uh, I, I honestly looked at the over first, but I was really concerned with the inconsistency from the Braves' bats, so I couldn't quite get there. It's a very small lean to the over, but I'm going to go with the Braves on the money line, and it really boils down to, like I said, to just, I think Morton can outpitch Kyle Harrison, and I'm hoping that the guys in the Braves lineup who do crush lefties show up. I mean, obviously, like, that's what you're hoping for when you're backing a team is that their bats can obviously get to opposing pitching. So I think Ozuna and Riley, you know, those guys, Kyle Harrison's a pretty heavy fastball usage guy, and I think they can turn it around. So I like the Braves here. Small lean to the over as well, but I will give you the Braves money line in this one. Um, that does conclude our slate. If you guys do me a favor, drop a like, drop a comment. I will give you guys my top three before I hop off of here. Number one, absolutely disgusting. The White Sox plus one and a half in the first five. We're going there. Uh, it's gross. Plug your nose, close your eyes, take a nap, go for a jog, whatever you gotta do. Don't watch it. I promise you don't watch it. It's gonna be gross, but we're gonna catch that. Um, number two, going to go with the Cardinals on the money line, plus money. I know no one's gonna like that either because it's against Hunter Green, but we're going there. We're gonna catch it. And number three, we're going to go with the Tigers in the first five on the money line or run line, whichever. I don't have lines for that one yet. So whichever one is playable, that's where we'll go. But Tigers in the first five. Um, as always, you can get all of my official plays at goldboys.com. If you have a gambling problem, tell 100 Gambler. Thank you, guys.